Hey, it's Jeff here. Welcome to NEBR New England Beer Reviews from Vermont. Switchback Connector. And it's an IPA with an alcohol by volume of 6.2% ABV. The International Bitterness Units is 65 IBUs. And uh, this was first introduced in 2015. It's the first time I've actually seen it in the bottle around here. So it may have just come to New Hampshire for the first time. The switchback has been in the state for a couple of years. Uh, one other thing about this beer is that it was picked one of the best IPAs in the country by Draft Magazine, which is a, a craft beer, general beer magazine I like to read from time to time. So it's all poured into this NASA glass. You know, I've had this NASA glass for a very long time. It's got the different uh, etchings on it, which is very popular these days. That laser etching effect, uh, which some people like in their uh, pint glasses because I guess it causes much more foam. Maybe not, I don't know, but this did come out with a very foamy head, which has settled a little bit since it's been sitting here for a minute or two. And you can see it's really an unfiltered, hazy yellow color. Uh, they did say always unfiltered on their website. So let's check out the aroma. One thing about this one before I get going is that this one's dated. The bottle's dated. It was uh, bottled on November 17th of 2017. So I think that's exactly a month old from when I'm recording this. So let's check this out. The aroma on this has a nice citrus pine character, hops. A nice soft white bread character underneath for the malts. A sweetness. But the citrus and pine are really the key uh, hoppy aromas I'm picking up. That's very inviting. It's got a, I think the aroma is actually quite inviting. And uh, it smells like the modern IPA with those real hopped up characters. Time for the taste. Mm, got a nice bitterness on it. Body's really smooth, creamy almost, a really smooth texture, a soft texture. And it's got a, a good balance to it here. Um, I do pick up a bit more aroma than picking up the hop and the flavor, but I'm definitely picking up hop and the flavor. I'm picking up uh, a nice bitterness at the end. It's really got a lingering, lingering bitterness at the end here. A little citrus, a little pine in the taste as well as in the nose. And a good uh, bready, sort of a white bread sourdough character in here. Mildly sweet, but also a moderately bitter at the end. Hmm. A very nice beer. I mean, it's really nice. These kind of IPAs, Vermont is uh, very good at making all the different breweries in Vermont have uh, become sort of IPA headquarters, uh, sort of taking the West, West style IPA and adding its own little sort of zing to it in Vermont. So, Coming from Vermont, I guess I would expect nothing less from a beer of this nature. Hmm. Um, it's kind of juicy, but I'd say more citrus and pine. Um, it's not like really juiced up, you know, with that pulpy sort of character. Like pineapple and grapefruit is popular in a lot of IPAs from New England. But it definitely has a nice, bold character of hops. Hmm. So I like it. Decent beer. And that'll do it for now. This is Switchback Connector. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.